Hello and welcome to another episode of EK How To Series. As you probably know by now, I'm Matic, your favorite Slovenian presenter. <laughs> but don't get too comfy now, because we have some meticulous work to do. Things are about to get very, very colorful. Get ready to count some drops and mix your desired coolant color with the help of our special EK Cryofuel Dye Pack recipes. And in case you're only interested in a specific color recipe, you can click on its timestamp in the description below. Once you have decided on the coolant color for your water-cooled system, all you need to create a custom-colored coolant is a base coolant and color dye. You start with a clear or solid white coolant as the base, depending on your preferences. And for this, we strongly recommend our EK Cryofuel Solid Cloud White or EK Cryofuel Clear Premix or Concentrate. This neat dye pack consists of red, yellow and blue dye that you will add to your base coolant, either solid white or clear, depending on if it's a transparent or non-transparent coolant you plan to make. Now let's jump to coolant color recipes. On our EK Cryofuel dye pack product page, you can find some basic color recipes, but in this case, these are not strict guidelines. You can choose to follow them or not. Tastes differ, so why conform to a standard when you can create something to proudly call your own? Let's begin with solid or non-transparent orange. Keep in mind that there are around 340 drops in each dye bottle, and solid orange needs 300 drops of yellow and 20 drops of red dye. So we will pour almost the whole bottle of yellow into the solid white coolant. Moving on to the red dye. With this one, we will start slowly and add it gradually. You should add five drops at a time and then mix. If it's not enough, you should add a few more drops, in this case of red coolant, and see what you're at. Now that we have our solid orange coolant, let's move on to the clear orange. The recipe is a bit different in this case, with 250 drops of yellow and about 15 drops of red. And I'm adding the yellow dye first. Then we'll slowly be adding the red dye to see how it looks. Here we go again. Now we'll add the red dye. Now, as you can see, the color is not as red as it looks right here. So we'll add a couple of more drops. Let's see, is this an EK orange yet? Not yet. Not yet. Nope. I think that's about it. So here's a pro tip. Before you decide to add any of the second color to your mixture, in our case red, you should check what the coolant looks like in your loop, because the water blocks are very thin, the same goes for the tubing, and this is the largest tubing we have. We're gonna take a look how it actually looks like, because you can see right now it's dark orange, but if I raise it, it's a bit lighter. Same goes for our solid coolant. It's a bit reddish right now, but right now it's the perfect EK orange. And there's an alternative way you can check the coolant color as well. You can take the cap of the EK Cryofuel bottle and just pour a bit of it in. Let's do the same with the solid coolant.
Now that we have mixed orange coolant, the transparent one and the opaque one, we can see the apparent difference. Choose the coolant color and opacity that best suits your system, by your aesthetic standards, of course. The only thing we don't want you to forget is to prep your loop with the EK Cryofuel loop cleaner and super flush solutions before filling it with the chosen coolant. If you're unsure how to use these cleaning solutions properly, we highly recommend you check out our previous how-to episode that delves into the loop cleaning process before the first use or coolant change. You can find the link in the description. Now that we have established how these simple colors should be mixed based on a recipe, we can proceed to the fun part, mixing the fan favorite colors. Let's begin with sapphire blue. For this coolant, we'll need one liter of EK Cryofuel Clear Premix and 90 drops of blue, <laughs> you guessed it, and 20 drops of yellow dye. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the stunning sapphire blue. But if we add just 25 more drops of the yellow dye, our sapphire blue becomes emerald green. Magic. However, I'd like to mix a new sample so that you can compare the two colors. That's why I set aside just a tiny bit of the sapphire blue. Uh. I'll use the following recipe to get emerald green. 90 drops of blue dye and 45 drops of yellow dye. Which means I need to add just 25 drops to the sapphire blue. Still needs more yellow. Perfect. And this is now our emerald green coolant. Looks different and pretty great, right? But if you prefer darker shades, observe what one little drop of red dye can do. With just a touch of red dye, we're gonna transform emerald green into dark emerald green. Check it out. That might have been uh, two drops. Wow. This just goes to show how a single drop of dye can significantly alter the color of the coolant. Now, would you look at that difference? It's huge. Now that you have seen those three crystal clear beauties, it's time to mix something entirely different and not so transparent. We will use the EK Cryofuel Solid Cloud White Premix to get a pastel baby blue coolant shade. We need a solid white coolant, 90 drops of blue, and about 15 drops of yellow dye. And now we add 15 drops of cryofuel yellow. Let's start with 10. Not quite baby blue yet. Oh yeah, baby. But what if you don't like the baby blue? It can become turquoise in no time. Just add another 25 drops of yellow dye. And by the way, the same coolant color was used in our Shop the Loop built alternate universe. Go check it out in the description below. Let me create you a mixture so you can compare it to baby blue. We'll need a total of 90 drops of blue dye and 40 drops of yellow dye per one liter of solid white coolant. So in order to achieve that, I need to add 25 drops of this. So let's go. Okay, so I added 20 drops. Let's see the color first and then we'll add the final five. If it's not the desired color yet, but... Hmm. I think we might actually need the last five drops. Now let's see what we mixed. Wow, now that looks just amazing. Wow. 
Would you look at that? And now I'll show you how to create your own army green color. This one's for all you FPS gamers out there. For this color, we need one whole bottle of blue dye and one whole bottle of yellow dye with 10 drops of red dye. And of course, one liter of solid white premix. Now be very careful with the red dye. It's really potent and it's better to use less than too much. So we'll start with, let's say, three drops. Oof, I think we need a darker color. So now we've added a total of five drops of red dye. And let's see what happens. Wow, that's the same as my camouflage in certain first-person shooters. Plus FPS, for sure. Now let's look at all these opaque, matte, solid, non-transparent colors, whatever you want to call them. But don't worry, we are not done yet. There's another, a bit different batch of non-transparent coolants coming up, plus something royally good we're saving for the very end. Let's start with baby pink for those in the mood for unicorn-themed builds. Again, our base is one liter of solid white premix, to which we add just 8 drops of red dye, mix it up, and voila! We now have our eye-catching baby pink coolant. And from here we can go to a more intense coral pink shade by adding 8 more drops of red dye and just one tiny drop of yellow. Would you look at that? That's a stunning coral pink color and I'm spilling again. Why am I constantly spilling coolant? Now let's tackle the blood orange color. For that we'll need 28 drops of red, 40 drops of yellow dye and one liter of solid white. I think we should probably start it from scratch, right? This is it, folks. Blood orange coolant. If this is too vibrant for your taste, a deeper version of it is coming right up, the burnt orange. And for that we'll mix 60 drops of red, 40 drops of yellow and 5 drops of blue dye with 1 liter of solid white. That means we'll have to add 32 drops of red dye and 5 drops of blue dye into this mixture to create the burnt orange. But if you're starting from scratch, there's a recipe on the screen right about now. And there we have it. The burnt orange coolant. I actually really like it. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, let's line them all up for comparison. Now that you've seen all the clear and solid coolant colors we prepared today, there's still that special one I promised earlier. It requires 1 liter of EK Cryofuel clear premix as a base, to which you then add 40 drops of yellow and just 2 drops of red dye. Now watch. And looks like our golden coolant is ready. 
We call this one the gold rush. It does kind of look like liquid gold. This color was already used in our latest Shop the Loop build, the golden sample. This is how it looks, and you can find it on our Shop the Loop page. <laughs> well, color me surprised, but we have already reached the end of this episode. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I did playing with the EK Cryofuel dye pack. Let us know in the comments which color recipe you plan to use in your next build, or if we missed a shade you're interested in. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay cool.